They dragged her into a church, stripped her naked, and skinned her alive with broken pottery. Her crime? Being smarter than the men in power. This is a brutal murder of Hypatia, history's most horrifying crime against science. In an age when women were silenced, Hypatia of Alexandria dared to teach math, astronomy, and philosophy, but her genius threatened the poor and they made sure she paid the ultimate price. Born in 4th century Egypt, Hypatia wasn't just a scholar, she was a legend. The daughter of a famous mathematician, she mastered geometry, built advanced astrolabes, and even improved the early versions of the hydrometer. Her lectures drew crowds, men and women, pagan and Christian, all eager to learn from the greatest mind of her time. But in a world where religion and politics clashed, knowledge was power, and power was deadly. Alexandria was a powder keg. Christians, pagans, and Jews clashed in the streets, and at the center of it all was Bishop Cyril, a man who saw Hypatia's influence as a direct threat. She was friends with the Roman governor Orestes, and Cyril wanted Orestes under his thumb. Rumors spread, lies twisted. They called her a witch, a heretic, a woman who quote unquote bewitched men with satanic knowledge. The mob was hungry for blood, and Cyril was more than willing to keep them a target. They ambushed her chariot, dragged her into a church, stripped her beer, and then, then the unthinkable. They used broken oyster shells, pottery shards to flay her alive, ripping skin from muscle, muscle from bone, and when the torture finally ended, they burned what remained. Hypatia was erased, but her killers made one fatal mistake. Hypatia's murder wasn't just a tragedy, it was a turning point. The Library of Alexandria, already in ruins, saw its last embers of free thought extinguished. Science was pushed into the shadows for centuries, but ideas, ideas don't die so easily. Today, Hypatia is a symbol of resistance, of the war between reason and fanaticism. Her story warns us when ignorance wins, civilization loses. Hypatia's killers thought they could silence her, but her legacy lives in every woman who dares to learn, every scientist who challenges dogma, every mind that refuses to bow to fear. So what do you think? Was Hypatia's murder the darkest moment in science history? or just the beginning of a war we're still fighting today. Drop a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe because knowledge is worth defending.